What are you doing, everybody? My name is Niall. Welcome to the very first episode of The Niall Files, a series that's going to cover all kinds of different things, and you'll definitely get more of a sense of what that is as we go along in this video, which I thought a great way to kick things off would be is to do just a room tour. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a room that um, I'm able to do with as I please, so I definitely do with as I please. Um, so let's just get right into it and uh, start with uh, the obvious the Star Trek onesie. Um, okay, it was a gift from my mother, uh, bless her heart, uh, because she knows what a big Star Trek fan I am. So it's a Star Trek onesie, and uh, it's pajamas, and it's definitely, it's it's made of that microfiber, so it's really nice and soft and, and cozy. Uh, there were a couple things that concerned me right away. Um, one, it's a Star Trek onesie. And two, uh, it's a red shirt, which uh, made me worry a little bit. Um, but uh, when I tried it on, let's just say it was uh, about an inch too small. And uh, when it comes to onesies, that inch uh, can sort of happen in a spot that, um, yeah, it just isn't doable. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this Star Trek onesie, but uh, it's great. I love it. Uh, it was a great gift. Thank you, Mom. Moving on next is my movie collection, and this is definitely uh, what I have whittled things down to. Um, I would say in its peak it was probably three to four times this size, um, and I've got it down to just sort of one little wall of movies here. Um, I'm definitely a fan of, of media of its time, okay? so. Uh, take um, Weekend at Bernie's, for example. Um, I would almost rather prefer to watch that on VHS than, say, on DVD or on Netflix or something like that. It's just, it's of its time, and uh, I enjoy that. And so uh, I collected a lot of um, VHS, and uh, it, uh, is, it takes up a lot of room to, to, to collect those. And in, in, t in today's age of, of DVDs, and especially of digital movies, um, there just is no excuse and so uh, I've managed to whittle things down um, to just what you see and we will definitely do several series uh, using the movies um, covering everything from probably reviews to um, let's watch to uh, top tens uh, I'm sure I'll have guests um, uh, so look forward to that there'll be a, a lot of stuff to do there um, moving on next here uh, up here is my wife's Star Trek collection she's um, got a, a very purposeful collection put together and uh, it's really nice and in fact I'm not going to get into it very much because I'm, I'm, I'm sure she would like to do a nice little tour of her collection so I'm gonna leave that up to her so look forward to that um, moving on down for me sort of begins the music section uh, of my room and and starting here are my my cassettes um, again media of its time in fact these are all cassettes I'm sure are uh, originally bought by me in the day of uh, when it was best to buy cassettes and um, I'm not a, a collector of cassettes I won't go out and buy seek out uh, ones in thrift stores and such uh, so it's just uh, once I buy something I usually don't get rid of it or trade it in or anything so once I own it I own it and that's uh, what these cassettes are and, and we'll definitely do a series on these because uh, I've had some great experiences with some great albums that are in here. Um, moving over next here is some of my vintage uh, audio equipment. Uh, again, I'm sure we'll do a series on uh, a lot of my audio equipment. I've got some great stuff. Um, next to that is uh, some Michael Jackson collection of mine. Um, I've got the 25th anniversary doll back there. Fantastic. A beta copy of the making of Thriller. Um, and you can see here for the low, low price of $29.95. So uh, get your beta max is out. Uh, we'll definitely, I'm sure, do a series on that. Um, sparkly glove, sunglasses, some great stuff in there. Uh, down below that, uh, we've got some of my CDs. Again, uh, originally bought, um, never traded in. Uh, I don't uh, really buy you CDs either, so these were ones I've gone in the store and, and bought and still own, and, and we will definitely, definitely be doing some series on, on those, which are fantastic. Uh, I've got some 8-tracks. Um, there's more than that. That's a parliament uh, just up there for display. Um, behind that, uh, some family photos. Uh, my grandfather tearing down that Berlin Wall. 
that's some good stuff um, uh, down below that uh, getting into some of my books covering things uh, like my time as a professional musician and we'll definitely do some series on that uh, there's some other books uh, about my time as a helicopter pilot and we'll definitely do some videos on that um, some table books and then that's pretty much it for that shelf Okay, continuing the music section of the room uh, is my vinyl collection. And this is definitely uh, something I've whittled this down to as well. And uh, you're looking at about 800 records, give or take a few. Um, and we'll definitely be doing some videos on some of the great music uh, that's in here. I'm working on a system to where we'll be able to listen to this music together um, without getting in, without me getting into uh, any copyright uh, problems. And uh, I think I've got something worked out, so stay tuned for that. Um, starting off is my, uh, my suspenders, my Robin William tribute suspenders, um, covered in some vintage buttons from the 70s and 80s. Um, some all the way vintage uh, Budweiser. We got some Alf hanging on there. Um, some My Friend Jake. Uh, some locals will know what that is. Uh, Orange Explosion, Orange Julius, right next to uh, the Electric Castle local arcade here back in the day. Book it. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Book it. Um, we even got some other things. Uh, Ross Perot, 92. That's some good stuff. Um, we got some Great America, Bugs Bunny, some Blitz, you know going way back. Um, back to the vinyls here. Uh, up top is pretty much uh, a lot of my seasonal things. Um, Halloween records, Christmas records, um, things like that. Then it's pretty much alphabetized A through Z all the way down and then my bottom shelf is going to be soundtracks and compilations. I've got a lot of KTELS, uh, Ronco Presents, um, and quite a few soundtracks and and those are all down the bottom shelf and again we'll definitely be doing some videos on those some great stuff uh, next to that is uh, you know nice poster of Michael Jackson again from his bad tour um, when there was still enough of them left uh, then below that is uh, my main music rack, um, and we, when we do the music series, I'll, I'll get into uh, a little more detail of what is in there. There's some some great gear uh, that served me well over the years, um, covering everything I need to listen to uh, everything I've got. Moving over into the corner, uh, above the coat rack here is uh, a painting done by a dear friend of mine uh, many years ago, and it's hung proudly in every game room I've had since. Um, it's sort of it's going to be hard to maybe make out on camera, but it's a it's a sort of a nighttime cityscape done in that sort of 70s vibe. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, love it. Uh, below that is my crew cap from Grand Theft Auto 5 and uh, we'll definitely uh, do some videos on that. Uh, and then in the corner is uh, the last thing that's left from Ape Cafe, a coffee shop that I own a little bit and we'll definitely do a video on that. So look for that in the future. All right, and round in the corner, we got my little office corner. And uh, what's really special about this is my desk, uh, which happens to be a cocktail um, Taito Space Invader. And what's cool about this table, it, it is the very first cocktail video game table ever made. Um, this table, of course, isn't the very first one. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. But um, this model was the very first one ever made. And uh, what's even cooler about this table is that this one is a Japanese import, okay? I think Midway got the license to do these uh, here in the States. And their tables are pretty much identical. Um, of course, all their instructions and uh, button labels and everything are in English, as where this one is in Japanese. Uh, when I got this table, the PCB was completely gone. Everything was stripped. It was... Uh, empty and so uh, I've got a MAME machine in it right now and uh, works great it is great for parties and uh, we will definitely do a video involving that and we'll get into uh, some details around that uh, on top of that is a workhorse that I've had uh, for probably two decades now uh, my SSM 1000 Radio Shack mixer um, this thing has gotten me out of jams time and time again um, I it still keeps on working love it it's a great machine um, next to that is my 
Fender Squire Bass. Now, this one um, has never been uh, on stage in a band. Um, this is probably the only instrument I own um, that hasn't been in a band, but um, this one has yet to uh, have the, hear the magic. So, uh, eventually, we need to uh, get this one out on stage and uh, get shake that dust off. Uh, it's been sitting here a little bit too long. Okay, next on this wall, we're going to start with this beast and work our way down. Uh, this is my 55-inch HD TV, um, 120 hertz. I've had it now for a few years and uh, absolutely love it. Uh, pretty much run everything I have through it and uh, works great. Can't complain a bit. And all this is uh, sitting on top of uh, my rack holding my Sega Dreamcast, ready to go. Uh, my N64, again, ready to go. PS4, of course, ready to go. Below that, PlayStation 2. And next to that is my audio head unit, um, your standard surround sound, uh, everything that you'd want on the unit. And again, when we get into um, more details about all this stuff, uh, I'll talk more about what's there and what's not there. Okay, moving back up, we're going to get into uh, which, let's be honest, is probably going to dominate the rest of the room tour, and that is my Star Wars collection. Uh, and let's just get right into it. So I'm going to keep it really general, because we'll definitely get into uh, a lot more detail when it comes to not only Star Wars, but uh, collectibles and the toys and, and all these things. So I don't want to spend a lot of time on it right now. But we'll start up top with uh, which pretty much my 12-inch collection dominates that top shelf. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff from the prequels, um, some from Rebels, some from the Force Awakens, uh, Special Forces Bluetooth speaker here at the at the corner. Um, love it, can't say enough good things about that. Uh, next shelf down is going to be pretty much a lot of my vehicles, um, some figures, some scenes that I'm working on that aren't quite done yet, so they're, they're definitely a work in progress over in here. Same with that top shelf, really, but... Um, you know, we got some more Episode 1 stuff. Uh, some of those Empire and Jedi Burger King glasses in the corner. Uh, just fantastic. Now, there is another shelf uh, underneath it uh, that's actually level with, and I, I don't want to forget, I almost did, my Tron figures. Absolutely love Tron. Another, uh, another thing that we'll do, I'm sure, more than one video about. Um, fantastic. Don't have very many toys. That's all I have right there. But uh, moving back over to the Star Wars shelf, this one contains uh, not a lot, just a little bit of the Micro Machine, some more vehicles, a couple of statues, uh, some books, uh, some getting over at the end here. Uh, we got some of the Legos that I'm looking forward to build, some Force Awakens toys, Black Series TIE Fighter, um, Jedi Starfighter, and some stuff like that. Um, behind, underneath that, on the wall, are some of my carded Force Awakens figures. Um, the first wave, I have most of them. I have all the ones that I want. Um, there are a few others. There were some repacks of uh, Luke and some Vader that I didn't get. But uh, those are all the ones that I wanted and hunted for. Um, and again, I'll go into more detail about all those. Um, in another video uh, down there Darth Vader mask uh, my Yoda puppet uh, and then uh, we'll get into this corner here a little bit more all right let's get right into the corner here and let's start with this 30 inch Darth Vader got that as a gift a couple years ago for Christmas fantastic what a great way to start off the corner and really just sort of watch over the room and uh, really a, a powerful presence I really enjoy it uh, we're gonna move down from there we got another Vader back there some three and three quarter figures uh, there's a carded Vader um, that uh, picture is uh, one of the old movie house promo shots or ones you'd get for autographs and stuff like that um, Next shelf down, uh, we got some more carded figures. I got my vintage uh, X-Wing there. Uh, that is an R2-D2 uh, Walkman. Fantastic. Works great. Sounds great. Um, I should use it more. Uh, below that, uh, we got uh, a Slave 1 scene, uh, Boba Fett. We've got uh, some 3 and 3 quarter figures uh, setting up a little Bespin situation going on. Um, mixes some new and some vintage figures. Uh, and again, I'll get into detail with 
with that in another video. Down below that, uh, the Millennium Falcon. Now that is complete, um, including the Jedi ball and the little arm and everything. Um, the only thing it's missing are the stickers, and uh, I've got a set of repros ready to go. Just haven't sat down and and made that commitment and got that done yet. Um, now below that uh, is uh, my remote R2D2, fantastic. Um, next to that is my plush BB-8, um, brand new, got that for us Friday. Um, now jumping over to the left here, we got my Star Wars Vans. Now that was a gift from a friend, uh, really appreciate that, you know who you are. Um, love those shoes uh, so much I doubt I'll ever wear them. Uh, next to that, my Yoda puppet, my Chewbacca plushie. Uh, we have uh, in down there is uh, some Finn, the armor up. Uh, we got some of the 18-inch Force Awakens uh, toys. We got Captain Phasma back there. She looks great. We got Kylo Ren. We got a First Order Stormtrooper right there ready for action. They look great. Um, down there, we also got some new Hot Wheels. Uh, we got a Captain Phasma and First Order Trooper Hot Wheel set. Um, below that is an Emperor and Yoda. If you haven't found a place for those yet, uh, we'll be looking. Um, next to that is the Legacy Collection TIE Fighter. Fantastic. That one is uh, one of the newer additions to my collection. Love it. Looks great. Um, haven't exactly figured out how and where I'm going to display it. It's a, it's a little big for my shelves, so not sure what I'm going to do with that. My van box uh, down there. On the wall, some more carded figures. Some more of the Force Awakens Armor Up series that have just come out. Um, some great Clone Wars. Um, and some other figures up top, and we'll definitely get into some more detail with that. Okay, and rounding that corner, we're on to my last wall. And sticking with that Star Wars theme, we're going to start up top with my 12 inch collection. Now most of these uh, come from the original trilogy uh, oh, IG-88 and um, they're in no particular order um, they're just sort of uh, up there uh, the best way that they would uh, say and some are taller than others, some would fit in certain places, some wouldn't um, and so that's how that is and we'll definitely get into more detail on each of these uh, in future videos. I'll do some reviews and um, get into uh, each of these because they are surprisingly different and uh, some are really complex and it's it, it's a lot of fun. Um, moving on to the shelf below that uh, we got all kinds of carded things back there. I've got some Hot Wheels, uh, some new of the Force Awakens vehicles back there, Millennium Falcon, Special Forces, TIE Fighters, uh, things like that. Um, right back there I got one of the carded Force Awakens uh, BB-8s with the Jakku Scavengers uh, back there and the Thug I uh, can't exactly remember his name, but uh, excited about that. I haven't unboxed it yet. Uh, right in front of that is my Infinity uh, collection. And um, can't say enough about those figures. Uh, love them. They look great. Um, can't say I've gotten into the game enough yet. But uh, really enjoying these figures. Um, got some great ones back there. Some uh, Star Tours. We got Rex from Star Tours. A uh, little shout out. Shout out to baby girl. Um, Rex back there, and we got uh, some Darth Vader concept figure, which is great. C-3PO, R2-D2 concept figures, um, carded. Love them. Can't get enough. Moving on, we got some of the Black Series Force Awakens figures. Uh, a lot of these were uh, from Force Friday. Um, uh, was really happy with finding those. Here are some out of the box. Uh, some of the Wave 2 ones I've managed to get my hands on a little early. Uh, some more of the Diecast Disney Store. Uh, the Elite Series Kylo Ren. Uh, the Trooper. Some really great stuff. The Spiro BB-8. Can't say enough about that. Uh, love it. Um, BB-8 coffee mug. Some more Lego Force Awakens. Some more toys. Oh, and the Talking Disney figures. Um, yeah, those uh, those are fantastic. Um, giving away some really great lines. You can uh, do some search on YouTube and find those if uh, you'd like. I'll get into those in uh, a future review. Can't wait. Really love those. Behind that is the uh, Black Tie Fighter from the Force Awakens. Uh, do a review on that one as well in the future. Some more die cast. Some just some really great stuff. Really excited about uh, the new movie. Moving below that onto the next shelf is uh, where my three and three quarter figures are. Um, starting over in the corner here. More Force Awakens stuff. Some of those figures uh, were really hard to find back in there, um, but really happy I got those uh, able to put those out on display. Uh, 
Uh, moving on, some more Force Awakens new stuff. Uh, custom 3PO back there, good stuff. Um, race speeder, love that. Uh, one of the new uh, speeder bikes, cool. Next to that, we got some of the Rebel stuff. Really finally happy I got myself a chopper. That Ahsoka Vader combo, uh, can't say enough about, love that. Uh, next to that, we got some of the Clone Wars stuff, some even original trilogy, some original trilogy. Um, we got Black Series Jabba, Salacious B hanging out there with him. Some original Star Wars stuff there, some vintage, some new, great stuff. And I'll tell you what, I don't discriminate. Um, I love everything Star Wars, including the prequels, including the special editions. And so there it is, some special edition stuff. Can't say I, I know the name of this beast offhand. Uh, I think I found it in a store for a dollar. So how can I pass it up for a dollar? There it is. Um, 3PO that I busted. Um, so there he sits. Getting into some more um, this some more Jabba. Um, got some Han Solo. And then getting into my little Jabba palace scene here. Uh, another hodgepodge of, of vintage and new stuff. Um, that's a vintage Jabba there. Mixed in with some Power of the Force figures. Um, even some of the the special edition some of the blu-ray editions i've got going on in there really exciting uh below that the rancor uh with his keeper that's another vintage one fantastic um the figure in the hand is not vintage that's new can't recall her name at the time somebody maybe in the comments can tell me um i know it just can't think of it um moving on you know there's some more um these cool little uh star wars projectors um, and they actually shoot uh, really good um, uh, when you're when you're out and about and you shine on the side of a building or something. It really shows up well. It's pretty surprising. You get some peeps, some shout outs. It's a lot of fun. Um, over here uh, to end this shelf off is my Empire collection. Uh, got an original Wampa back there. Um, those are mostly some uh, vintage stuff. I uh, got the two Tauntaun. One of them is the Open Belly. Some uh, some Black Series carded figures back there. And my my nice little Empire coffee mug that uh, I had from back when I was a kid. And uh, that pretty much wraps up the majority of my Star Wars collection, because moving on to the shelf next is going to be a lot of my gaming stuff. Uh, ironically, starting off with a little bit of Star Wars from the Atari 2600 in the box, complete uh, with instructions. Again, I'm sure I'll do some reviews on that. Um, and behind that, we got the TI-99 working. I've got some great games with that. There's a Duke Nukem, uh, some an old shareware Duke Nukem. Uh, fantastic, still in the case. Um, uh, some some Austin Powers figures. Uh, my Sega my Sega Master System. Love it. Work. Got Choplifter in there ready to go. The Rancor again. Got some Super Mario swag there. Lunchbox. It's got a thermos in there. It's fantastic. Um, I got my Merida um, Infinity figure ready to go. Um, my Nintendo works ready to plug in play. Um, uh, Power Glove. We got the Super Game Boy. Uh, we got some handheld stuff from uh, when I was a kid. Uh, got all my Game Boys. Uh, got some some of the old LED games. It's great. The uh, original Sony Walkman. Some fan art there um, that I put together for Red Dead. An old Pac-Man mug. Um, some Dreamcast games. Probably some PS1 games mixed in there. Um, too much stuff sitting on top of my um, Atari in there. And in fact... That one, I do believe, yes, is the Sears Telegames. Um, not the Atari, it's the Sears Telegames, which was the Atari cloned, uh, released by Sears. And I'll definitely get into some more details with that in another video. Um, some more games sitting on top of that. And then uh, moving back over here underneath um, is my uh, gaming shelf. We got my 2600 collection kind of tucked back in there. A uh, few toys, um, some E.T. when they re-release that in the theaters. Uh, there's some stuff. My Speak and Spell. Uh, it's a lot of fun. People love to pick that up and play with it. Below that, um, some of my box games, ranging everything from uh, PC to Sega CD and television, Atari, Nintendo, Sega. All my box games are kind of right there. Um, even some TI-99, some, some plug-and-play, uh, 
couple little extra toys, the Game Genies, things like that. Moving down below, I've got my um, NES collection. Uh, it's not big. I'm not really looking to make it big. I just want the games that I want, and there they are. And uh, couldn't be happier with that. And uh, over there is the N64 collection. Fantastic. That is a dead Nintendo. Uh, no doubt we'll do something with the shell. Um, uh, I haven't decided what to make it into yet. Um, next to that, uh, ooh, the Pac-Man picture album. Um, fantastic uh, to look at. Not so good to listen to. But uh, we'll do a review on that another time, too, no doubt. And uh, behind that is a bunch of my PS2 games. Uh, above that, I think, is pretty much my exclusively Rockstar. Not quite, almost. Um, I have most of everything they did for the PlayStation 2. Uh, finishing off with some, some of my Star Wars PS2 there at the end. Above that, some, some PS3, some 360, maybe some PS4 games mixed in there. Uh, some good stuff. Next to that is uh, my Grand Theft Auto soundtrack um, rack. Uh, I'm a big GTA fan, so we'll definitely be doing some videos on that in the future. Um, I love the soundtracks. Uh, made those, uh, a lot of those are custom made, a lot of those are store bought, there's some boxes in there. Uh, my skates, uh, grew up roller skating, um, I'll do, we'll definitely do some videos on that, in fact I think we'll probably even go skating a time or two. Um, got some candles back there, and you know to, uh, to finish it all off there I've got my classic CRT TV, um, beautiful little machine that I keep handy. Uh, for whenever you want to hook the Atari up, that NES, the Sega Master System, you know, as 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 bitching as my big TV is, there's just something about how it looks on a nice CRT TV, and there it is. And as a matter of fact, that's the that's the same TV I had from when I was maybe 12 years old. Um, it's been with me ever since. It's great. Still looks great. Can't get enough of it. All right, and above that uh, is just some more Star Wars art, uh, some stuff I put together. That is an original uh, Star Wars catalog that uh, I put in a frame. Looks great. Some some Star Wars posters that I printed out and put up there. Um, some more of the the movie house stills, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So. Um, Thanks for looking around my room with me. Um, I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, I'm going to make my way over to the, the home office section of the, uh, of the room. And uh, we're going to do some, uh, some viewer mails. All right, everybody. Here we are at the game table. Uh, thank you so much for doing the room tour with me. Uh, had a good time. Hope we can do more things like that uh, in the future. Um, I thought I would end each episode uh, with a little bit of viewer mail. And uh, since this is my first episode, um, I don't exactly have any viewer mail. So I thought that uh, I would just sort of go and collect some from other people and uh, give it a try. So um, didn't really look through a lot of these before I grabbed them. So let's just see how it goes. All right. Uh, this first one is from Pennyy16, and it says, Hey, Liz, not me. Uh, I'm a big fan. Love the show. Well, thanks. And uh, I was just wondering, how long does it take to do your hair in the morning? Well, well, Pennywise, um, as you can see, not long. Not long at all. Okay. Um, this next one is from Kenny G Loves You Too. Good name. All right. And this one says, uh, how far can you fall? Well, Kenny G Loves You Too. Um... I would imagine probably all the way. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, this next one is from uh, somebody called Scarfox292. Scarfox. Hey, John, not me. Uh, you mentioned doing a review on the GX2200 chainsaw. Any chance that's coming soon? No, no chance at all. Uh, this one is from GutterFunky99. And it says, uh, what did Rick do with the ball? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I just don't know. Uh, this one is called, uh, this one is from Quest For It All Cause I Want It, 88. That is a fantastic name. And this says, uh, thanks for doing the Q&A. Well, it's not exactly a Q&A, but yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what is the most common type of fundamental particle in the universe? All right. So this is just not going to be that kind of a show. Um, because once you really get into that, it can open up all kinds of crazy discussions that um, I usually don't enjoy having with people. But I think you're thinking of quarks, but uh, like I said, not that kind of a show. This one is from Terry's Tight Pants Today. Terry's Tight Pants, the number two, and day. 
and it says, Hi there. I just wanted to say I love the show and thanks for all your hard work. Thanks. Are you going to have more sweaters available? That's, uh, that's a good question. Sweaters. You know, uh, Christmas is coming up and uh, some, some, maybe some Nile File sweaters would be awesome. That's a good idea. Thanks. Huh. All right. Okay, well, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, you can find me on social media, uh, on Facebook, Nile Files, and um, Twitter, the same name. That's pretty much all the social media I do. I'll put links down in the description. And um, stay tuned for more episodes coming up. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.